Hey, what is up, everyone? This is Dark Sage 101, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. Uh, well, last episode, we climbed up Mount, uh, was it Mount Cronel? And, uh, made it to the second dungeon, which, uh, this is the second dungeon right here. Um, yeah, it took a little while to get up here. I'm glad we, uh, made it. We also got the, uh, I don't know, the spin attack was, uh, Episode 3, I do apologize. Yeah, oops. But um, we also got 30 bombs. And we also got a fairy as well. Um, and we talked to Milari, I, Milari. And we got a couple heart containers. So, yeah. So, we're, we're doing pretty good right now. Let's go ahead and head into Cape and Flames. And uh, we're going to be going through this in the... Uh, in this episode, hopefully we'll be able to continue, well not continue it, hopefully we'll be able to um, complete this dungeon, it's really not that hard, and we, I'm recording this just after my Fire Emblem Last Promise video, so uh, you, here we have uh, Bob Bombs, definitely not a reference to Mario, um, as you can see they're pretty annoying, let me, uh, I'll just do it that, Yeah, they do uh, quite a lot of damage. Gosh darn it, I'm pressing the wrong buttons. It's been quite a while since I played this. Well, when I mean quite a while, I mean like literally like a day. Right, just lagging just a little bit here. Okay, here we have uh, uh, hel Helmosaurs, I think they're what they're called. Your sword won't make a dent in their thorny armor. Flip them over before you strike. Now, actually, you can flip them over in two different ways. You can flip them over with bombs, which is normally actually kind of what, what you're supposed to do. You can also flip them over with your shield, which is what I'm going to do. Yeah, see? And I find that a little bit easier, just so I don't waste bombs. And there you go. Just super easy method doing that. So if you want to kill those guys, uh, I recommend the shield. You got the compass. Yeah, I know how to use the compass. Oh, uh, we'll, we'll stay with the shield for now. All right, so in here we have, uh, it's right here, uh, like, like, rupee, like, like, and as I hop right into it. Can you get at, can you get out of the thing, Link? Thank you. Stupid thing. That's a ruby. There we go, I got a heart. I'm just trying to get hearts right now because I took a lot of damage from that one ball bomb. There we go. Uh, in here you find another ball bomb. Uh, you can actually hit it twice and it'll leave it like that. Um, let me just catch it, there we go. And uh, ignore those choo-choos, go over here, get these guys. Oops. Very rusty as you can see. There it goes. Oops. This must be what the humans who built this mine used to get around here. Maybe we should try, uh, maybe we, eh. You should hop in. Hmm? What? After all this, you don't expect me to believe you're scared. There's nothing to be afraid of here. Come on, let's go. Alright. As I'm pressing the shield button to, like... It was like I was, like, taunting the guy right there. And we get, uh... Oh, gosh. <laughs> I forgot about that. We killed those two keys. Sweet jumping jellyfish. That was awful. Hey kid, what are you smiling about? I knew it. It was madness to risk our lives in that rickety human contraction. From now on, let's just stick to our feet. Well, I mean, your feet. <laughs> that was brilliant. I completely forgot that like Link just completely freaks out when you go into the, uh, the minecart.
Come on. There we go. We got another ball bomb right there. We can just push that. Oh, jeez. I always gotta check these pots. Even though we have max rupees and like max everything else, so. I'm actually gonna do it this way. Here, come here, Mr. Ball Bomb. Come here. Worked out perfectly. I don't even bother with the guest jar, I just. I just do this. I don't even bother with the gush jar. That is technically their weakness, is the gush jar, but you can also just kill them with your sword. Just You just gotta hit the back of the guy and they, they, don't, have a, they, they don't have a chance. There you go. The mesh portal. How interesting. So there was a portal hidden away in here. Hmm. Whenever you want to... Want me to shrink you down? Just hop down, hop up here and press R. Yep. Yeah. Okay, we can skip that. It's good. Uh, more helmet swords. We can't hit those guys though. Oh, uh, can't go in there. I'm just waiting for that guy to get out of the way. Oh, lag. Okay. And a heart container. We don't get that for a little bit. I believe there's only... It's like... Actually, I believe that's the only one in the dungeon. From memory. I, there's like only one or two. And we have to go over here. Uh, be careful of the fire. Run up here, grab this, this is the dungeon map. Yep. Oh, there we go. That worked. That totally worked. There we go. There we go. That's good for if uh, enemies are around you like that. A kinstone piece. Oh my, it looks really, really hot in that lava. Trust me, falling into that would be a bad idea. I'm sure you would agree. Oh, did you know that lava is hot? The more you know. As though, you, wow. <laughs> That's basically what Ezra was saying right there. Hey, did you know that lava is hot? Uh, yeah. Okay, go on this. Wow, I totally messed that one up. Gives you plenty of time to actually get over here, so. No, that worked. Um, don't waste on that one. Put it right here. Got 50 rupees. Yeah, don't waste one right there and don't waste one right here. Uh, they just give you extra. So, come on. Uh, I'm waiting. Get out of my way, please. You know what? We'll just put them down just because. Oh my gosh. Dude, get out of my way. Jeez. <laughs> he just like pushed me in the lava. That was totally a Zelda thing right there. Okay, go up here. Gotta do a little bit of a little flying game here. It's not that hard. Let's go to this. 
And then you turn around. Gives you plenty of time to do this, so. And there you go. Easy peasy. Push that. Push this down. Um. But no, it's, uh, up. Yeah, there you go. And then push this over to that hole over there. And this will contain a good item, which is a smoky, so that's good. You can use that to progress to the dungeon. That closed. Yeah, as you can see, we're back into this room. But now that we got that key, um, we can do um, quite a lot of things, actually, with that one. So actually, I'm going to go right back here. Uh, yeah, we have, we have to hop back in here. And now we can go in here. Uh, be careful for this because you can, you can hop off. Oh no, you can't. I thought you could. Never mind. I thought you could hop off. And now that was, uh, that was a different Zelda game. Heard some rupees, uh, fall right there. That's fine. I already have, like, max rupees. I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. I'll just be careful of this here. These guys are not that hard, so... They're pretty easy, you just have to, you have to have the shield. Unless you want to spam bombs, which is another way to do it, but I don't really use bombs against against those guys. As you can see, this uh, minecart's flipped over, or is upside down. Uh, you actually need a unique item to actually uh, get that one. And we're going to be getting it a uh, little bit later on. Actually pretty soon. We're going to be getting a new item, so go ahead and uh, use a bomb here. This will actually lead to that heart container that we saw. Perfect. You got a piece of heart. We a new heart container, so now we have six hearts. Very useful. Looking good. Okay, let's go and go in here. Alright, this one you have to play a little game here. Uh, you have eight of these guys. And I actually find the best way to do this is do this. Is actually spam bombs. Spam bombs on this one. That's the best way to do this, as you can see. That got like all of them. Put one right there, and that should kill both. Wow. Wow, that went... Wow. That went really well, didn't it? Pretty stupid thing. Come here. There we go. Yeah, but use the bomb when, when they uh, group up on you, and you can kill like at least five or six of them right there. Like what I did there. You got a, the cane of Pachi. I think that's how you pronounce it. There's actually... Yeah, there, there was two ways of actually pronouncing this. It's Cane of Pachi or Cane of Paki. But it's, uh, I'll, I'll just call it Cane of Pachi because it actually sounds a, a little bit better. This mystical rod has the power to flip things over. Use it to charge up energy in holes and then flip, flip up on out of it. Cane of Pachi. Which is uh, really useful. We're definitely going to be using this one for uh, quite a quite a good uh, good amount of the game because there's a lot of things that we need to do with the gain of Pachi let's do that we just uh, wait for this thing to go back up there we go and uh, we can fire it in that hole hey kid why don't you take that cane of Pachi and fire it at that hole I mean you never know what will happen until you try right well yeah I knew because of the description that it actually told me when I got the thing but Thank you, Ezla. Uh, as you can see, it 
triggers that portal, which is useful. But we actually need to go over here to get this chest. Alright. We have to grab this one like this. And uh, Link's blood pressure pressure is rising right there. Alright, small key. And then we go go out. And we go back to where we were. Yeah, but that does lead you back to the beginning of dungeons, just in case you want to get hearts. But we're fine right now, so let's continue. I did not mean to do that. Okay. Yeah, it should be fine. I did not mean to. Wow, I totally messed that one up. I was. I meant to leave it alone there. There we go, just so I can actually get through. Yeah, because you can't get through uh, when you're Minish Link. When it does that, let's uh, try and be careful here. There we go. Just a little bit of timing. And this part's a little dangerous. But, well, at least when you're a normal Link. Yeah, because these things, uh, as you see, you can't attack them, even, if, well, of course, when we're Minish Link. Uh, these things are really dangerous, and you'll see why. Yeah. Like little razor blades. Okay, do that. That part's not hard, by the way. Okay, do that. And then do that. Kill all of these, or put them into little little balls or whatever. I remember messing around with these things when I was uh, when I was a little kid. Like I would go outside and I would mess around with these things, like after it rains. Gotta grab this thing. We got uh, Link's blood pressure rising. And then move, move it over here. And then do that. And go up here. Get this one. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, we can't get that yet. Not uh, this can of Hachi. Consume piece. Move that. Put this uh, there. Did not mean to put it that way. <laughs> oh my gosh. As you can see, I'm not very good with the can of uh, Another consume piece. That's actually a green one. I need that. And of course, you can use the Kanapachi to get back up there, but there's no point. Alright, so here is basically the supposed main room. As you can see, I aimed that perfectly there. Um, let me just wait for this thing to uh, yeah, do that. Let's go up here first. Unlock that. That's actually the end portal right there. The end portal. Minecraft reference. The, um, well, the Ren Portal means, like, end of the dungeon, pretty much. Let me just do that and hop on. Oh, gosh. Lag actually kind of helped me there. Come on, hop on. There we go. Perfect. And you can actually use Kanapachi to break the pots, which is very useful. Do that. I did not mean to do that. Okay, do this. Okay, this one's a little bit of timing, but it's not that hard. Okay, do this. Do this. And then you just wait. There you go. 
<clears throat> can go over here and get hurt. I believe this is a yeah, kinstone. Worth. Oh gosh. Okay. You know, just, just yeah. There we go. Do this. This, and then we have to use our uh, Kanapachi, and we just kill that. There we have max bombs, anyways. Go over here. Uh, let me just kill that thing. Go over here. Uh, go over here. Be careful. Okay, there we go. You can also go over here. I believe this is a uh, another kinstone piece. No, that was 100 rupees. Useless. Absolutely useless. When I have max rupees already. Okay, go over here. Um... Oh wow. Yeah, I'm totally messed that one up. I'm about to go over there where the that hole is. Yeah, you have to go over here. There it goes. And hop over here. Go into this one. Go into that one. This, I believe, is a kinstone right here. I believe this is the kinstone. Yeah, that's the kinstone. That's useful because that's another green one, and I need the green kinstones. Because as you know, uh, most of the guys actually are uh, wanting to trade kinstones or fuse kinstones or whatever. Um, uh, we need green ones, so. You got the big key. Yeah, that's the boss key right there. So we can actually fight the boss right now, which is actually what we're, what we're gonna do since we're all done. Yeah, this is the entire dungeon. One, yeah, there's only one heart piece. Yeah, I remember there was like one or two. Yeah, this is like one of the only dungeons where there's like a very few amount of, of heart, heart pieces. I love this dungeon, it's really awesome. It's, a, it's one of the shortest dungeons, for sure. At least in my opinion. You also get guaranteed hearts here, and a fairy. Alright, so, we get to go down here. And fight the boss. And I love the design of this, uh... This boss room. I love it. Alright. Yep, uh, this boss's name is Glee Rock. Basically, it's a dragon. That is the. That's basically how you fight him right there, and I. Wow! <laughs> wow, I messed that one up. Basically, you use the Katapachi to flip the rock uh, on his back. And uh, then you attack his little uh, little gem thing. I, I actually don't even know what that is. I'm gonna call it like a gem. And uh, oh gosh. And of course, when you get touched by the fire, uh, I mean, it just goes absolutely crazy. What is the king Pachi to hurt him? Yeah, you really can't get out of there. When he uh, does that, you're guaranteed to lose at least uh, a quarter of a quarter of a heart. Ow. Gosh darn it, dude. Alright, let me just, uh... Oh gosh, let me just run over here. Oh, 
I'm running the lava, dude. There it goes. He's actually uh, really easy, so. Yeah, th this guy is really, really easy. Wow, that was, uh, that wasn't good. Taking quite a lot of damage here. This guy is definitely a step up in difficulty from the, uh, the green choo-choo from Dungeon 1. He just covered that entire thing with, oh my gosh, dude. Darn it, Link. Really? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh gosh, this is not good. I mean, can you, like, just use your cane Apache to, like, you know... Oh my gosh, dude. Use the cane Apache. Stop going into the lava. Oh my gosh, dude. Look at this. Yeah, I didn't get much there. Jeez. Oh, all this fire on the board. Look at this. Okay, he's doing more. Oh, yeah, you can't uh, use Kanapachi when his uh, back, uh, back rock is, like, pulsing like that. Come on, Link. Dude, I'm using the Kanapachi. Go ahead and just... Oh, my gosh, dude. Really would love if Link would just cooperate. Dude, this is such a joke. Come on, dude. Making this way harder than it needs to be. Yeah, trust me, this heart, uh, this fight's not that hard. It's just I'm making it hard. There we go. God. Oh, well, that was annoying. <laughs> Link would just, like, not cooperate. Like, oh my gosh, dude, that was so annoying. Like, I would I would use the cane Apache. I would use the uh, the button for the cane Apache, and he would not cooperate. Like, he would not respond. I was like, come on, Link. It's like the same thing with the Cuckoo game. Anyways. We got the fire element. You got the fire element. Flames bring light to darkness and warmth to all. The fire element is the embodiment of that power. And there's a herd container right there. See, doesn't the design of the walls look cool? That, that's so cool. I love it. I love little things like that. Really makes the game uh, look great. Really, really just shows the uh, the amount of effort they actually put in boss rooms. Oh, that was hot. It was so hot. I thought my fibers would catch on fire. Uh, but it's over now. I suppose we should go back and speak to Malari. Let's go ahead and do that really quick. And then we'll... Uh, actually, we won't end it off yet. Since we've probably only been recording for like, what, half hour maybe. We'll record for a little bit longer. And then I uh, go to bed because I'm tired. Oh, nice, dude. That looks pretty sweet. Wow, that was fast work. But not so fast that I didn't finish your sword. Here, take a look. I call this new blade the White Sword. The White Sword. Not just White Sword. The White Sword. Oh, yeah. You got the white sword. Its beautiful white blade sparkles with light. You can put away your grandfather's sword now. Why? I could dual wield. <laughs> I mean, sure, I'll dual wield. <clears throat> Once you infuse it with the power of the elements, it will become a sacred blade. The forest elder no doubt told you this part, but if you want to infuse the sword, you must go to the elemental sanctuary. 
The sanctuary is a strange realm trapped between two, two worlds. It is the bridge between the Minish world and the human world. The doorway to the sanctuary opens only once every 100 years. You'll find that door hidden within Hyrule Castle. Once that blade has been filled with the power of the four elements, you should be able to break the curse on your princess. I know you can do it, after all. You made short work, short work of that human mind. Let me tell you about a shortcut you can use to get down from the mountain. You'll find that right in front of the entrance of the mine you just explored. Just follow that and you will be down in no time. Good luck. Very awesome, Blur. Alright. I'm just checking for people to fuse kinstones. I don't think any of these guys you can fuse kinstones with, but it, I, I mean, it's worth a check. Nope. Yeah, nope. As you can see, white sword, pretty pretty nice. Looks cool. This is gonna be our main weapon for the game, is the white sword, so And what we do is we actually just hop down like that. And then we do this. And then we do this. I'm kind of uh, taking a uh, kind of a detour. Yeah, there is a quicker way to get down, but I'll do it this way as I uh, fall off. Go down and over here. Ignore those guys. And boom. We're at Mount Cornell Base. And I believe this was actually a bumble wall that I actually forgot. Mm, maybe not. No, that wasn't. No, that was that wall. Alright. They already got... Yeah, I already got that one up there. Oh my gosh, dude. I don't mean to do that. Um. Yeah, I got that one. I'm gonna drop a bomb. Hold on, there it goes. Alright, we will be back, Mount Colonel. Alright, so, uh, we're gonna end this off in just a bit. We just need to do just a little bit of things with that brand new cane Apache that we got. Uh, let me just. Okay. Uh, use it right there and uh, do that and that will trigger a shortcut which is very useful we know we definitely need that and let me actually fuse kinstone with some, with some people now that we actually got a bunch of kinstones let's go ahead and start fusing uh, yeah let's start with this guy Want to use kinstones? I'd be glad to. Thank you. Uh, do I have that one? I do. Brocco. Maybe something good will happen. That's that one. I believe that's, uh... Yeah, that's one of those. They fit perfectly. Oh, I expect my sales will triple because of this. Uh, you can't do that one. Is it, uh, yeah, I remember the postman actually. Uh, you can fuse kinstones with that guy, but it's not until later on. He's like one of the last ones you actually uh, fuse kinstones with. Oh gosh. Can't wait to do that. Well, boy. 
Oh yeah, you can also use kinstones with a dog as well. I don't remember that one. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Stock metal shop. Yep. Actually, before I do anything, I need to purchase this. That boomerang is a real bargain at 300 rupees. Will you buy it? Yes, I will. Rip money, but you know I can farm him back off screen, so it's not that bad. You got a boomerang. This well-crafted weapon returns when thrown. Oh, you are a big spender, aren't you? Thank you. And now this popped up. I believe this is a uh, another bomb pack, which is kind of funny. Um, yeah, big bomb bag is a real bargain at... Oh, yeah, yeah, see, it's 600. You are far too clever by half, but you will be haggling with me. Um, and that actually allows you to carry, um, yeah, 99 bombs. Uh-huh. 99 bombs. So that is going to be incredibly useful. And actually, I believe, uh, I still don't think we can go in here. Yeah. Now that's, uh, not for a little bit. So we get that, uh, that hard container there. Actually, the one I want to feed kinstones with is actually the mayor. Ah, I am Hagen, mayor of this fair town. Mayors are usually very important and busy folk. I'll have you know, but I still have a hobby, of course. I can collect unusual masks. I just love them. They're beautiful. Simply magnificent, I tell you. You want to fuse kinstones? Oh, please, please, yes. Yep, I have it. The, fuse kin the two kinstones fit perfectly. Yep, that one. Yeah, this one's useful. I believe that one is a heart container. It's either a heart container or the uh, the rupee bag, which uh, allows you to carry. Uh, it was like five or six hundred. I believe it's six hundred. Oh, that's so pretty! A perfect fit. Now we'll I'll know we'll get lucky. And we actually can't go up here yet. Although we can flip this over, and now it's a minish portal. can't go over yet over there yet so that was useful uh, can't go in there um, oh geez yeah we can hop down here this is actually a little secret yeah right there you can't go up there yet until you get the uh, yep you guessed it the flippers we don't get those for a little bit though Nope, not until after the third dungeon. Not until after the third dungeon. So it's going to be a while before we get that one. So basically we're just fusing kinstones with like everyone right now. Yeah. You do fuse kinstones with that guy eventually. And you can also fuse kinstones with your grandfather as well. As I uh, run into that. Although I'm pretty sure it's later on. So this is your house. Well, it seems like a nice place. So where's my room? Okay. Yeah, can I... Uh... Yeah, I can't fuse kids with him right now. Nope, it's not until after third dungeon. Yeah. But you do fuse kids with your grandfather at, at some point. And same thing with Malari. Malari, you also. But don't worry, we're going to be fusing kinstones with everyone this playthrough. I mean, this is 100%, so. Oops. Should we just head to... Yeah, we'll head to Hyrule Castle and then we'll end it off. I'm the postman crossing at incredible speed to bring you your mail. Okay. Oh yeah, I remember this one. 
This is actually right here is actually a is actually a heart piece, but we don't get it until like almost the end of the game. <laughs> That's like one of the last ones you get. Yeah, I remember that one. That one's kind of fun to get. Not a lot of people know that one, and I know why. It is actually pretty hard to actually. It's it's pretty uh pretty easy to miss that one. You can also go up here with your cane Apache. Let me uh do that really quick. Yeah, you can get to Veil Fields, which there is actually a heart piece that we need. Yep, right here. You got a piece of heart. And uh, there's another one that we also need. Yeah, there's actually another one that we can get. So let me grab that one. I'm not even counting the hard pieces right now. I'm just showing you all the locations of all of them. Stupid Octorok. Okay. Go over here. And now we can go up here. Now that we got the bombs. Yeah, you can go up here really early on. Once you get the bombs, you can get this one. Uh, hello, spider. Oh, no, no, no. You can only see it. Never mind. Wow, look at the size of that waterfall. Beautiful, simply. Beautiful, my boy. Yeah, you can't get that one until you get flippers. Okay. But you can at least see that one. You can actually use kinstones with this guy, but you don't get the kinstone for ages. And you can go over there as well, but there's no point. Well, actually, there actually there is. There's a heart piece. Just remembered it. I was going to say, because the top part, you really can't do much. So as you can see, it's locked by that. But there's this, so we'll grab that. Alright, another heart piece. What are we at, like seven hearts right now? Yeah. Come out that side. And you can also come out that side. It's one of the weirdest caves. Alright. Hyrule Castle Garden. Uh, I guess we'll go ahead and uh, we'll go. Yeah, right, right there is fine. Okay, stay safe, and I'm gonna go ahead and end off the episode here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, that was fun. Uh, we did quite a bit. We uh, completed the second dungeon. It wasn't really that hard. Like it really wasn't. That was really easy. Um, other than the boss, the boss kind of you know, stalled me out for a little while, but other than that, that was clean. Um, so hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one, which will be tomorrow. Uh, the next video, obviously. Uh, the next episode of this game actually could be tomorrow. I'm thinking about it. Um, I'm thinking about picking between, uh, Last Promise and, uh, Minish Cap. I'm thinking about doing Last Promise since we're really close to being done with that one. I need to get done with that playthrough. Um, but, Tomorrow, I'm also going to be doing a Pokemon video, so there'll be uh, two videos tomorrow. So, just like I did tonight. So, I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.